Didn't hi. Uh, interesting presentation you did. Thank you. Um, this is my business card, um, but it's actually, it's actually not for you. This okay. is for your boy. Oh. Um, yeah, Oof. I'm a fan of, of uh, Happy Socks. Oh, man. I've been looking for somebody who can supply me with you're Happy Socks. Yeah. You're going to sign you on. No, I'm, I'm very excited about that. Great. Can you tell me about the dynamic between you and your son, just uh, in terms of what level of inspiration you think you may have imparted on him? Well, I think he's inspiring me because he's pushing me every day to start his new business. He's 15 years old. Nice. He should be doing his schoolwork. And instead of doing his schoolwork, he wants to start businesses. Um, and I think that's the future of our country. The future of yeah. our country is young entrepreneurs mm -hmm. that are prepared to give it a go. Yeah. As we know, most, most fail. Most fail the first time. The problem is they, never, they don't try a second time. Sure. And if they did try a second time, there's an unbelievably high success rate second time around. Yeah. So we have to be encouraging people to start businesses, mm -hmm. be creative, be innovative, yeah. and help build this country. Great. Just a little bit of a detour. Tell us about one or two of your failures. Sure. You know, when people ask me about them, I say, I've got so many, you yeah. would need hours and hours of time. <laughs> there really have been so many. What yeah. I am able to do, though, is forget about them, mm. learn from them, and move on. They don't bother me. I don't think about them. Yeah. And I know that it's just a, a natural part of progress is having setbacks and moving on. Fantastic. And learning from them. Yeah. Now, just back to Section 12J. Yeah. Uh, one of the biggest um, issues uh, with regards to uh, de the development of SMEs it's just the, the expectation around availability for money. Uh, what do, you, do, you, do you not think uh, Section 12J, um, as it, it's, it's known more in the public, that we would create that same level of expectation from entrepreneurs who are struggling or looking to raise money to grow their businesses? Well, I, I think it is creating a pool of capital for entrepreneurs. Yeah. Accessing that pool is not easy. Mm. And I think uh, one of the things entrepreneurs realize and need to realize that they need to have strong a strong business plan, they need to have the personal qualities that are needed for a business to succeed um, and, and they're not just going to get the money um, that easily. It's hard to get money and it should be hard to get money um, but good entrepreneurs should be getting money and that's what Section 12J is facilitating is good entrepreneurs uh, getting access not only to capital but getting access to people with experience that can help guide them and offer strategic support in their businesses. So, so just, yes, there's expectation and then there's entitlement. Um, I know you, you mentioned that you, you see at least one entrepreneur uh, uh, a day, uh, you know, trying to pitch, trying to see if you guys um, can assist them to, to grow their business or invest in their business. Yeah. Has there been any uncomfortable levels of, of entitlement around, uh, you know, someone like you perhaps supporting uh, SMEs out there to, to start up or to, to scale their businesses? Not really. I think, okay. um, you, know, you know, entrepreneurs that we deal with, we're not always the first people that they've spoken to. They've tried to get money elsewhere. They might have tried with family and friends. Often we encourage them to go back to their family and friends mm -hmm. and to get their business to a point that it's, that, that it's validated because it's very easy to come up with a concept and say I want to sell socks or yeah. underpants or whatever. Yeah. Um, it's much harder to take that to the, to the point of saying people actually want it, people will buy it and I can make a profit out of it. Exactly. We, so we often send people back and okay. we say we're not saying goodbye to you, we're not saying a permanent no to you, but you need to go back and do some more work. Now, you started your business at a time where people may say it was a different all time and possibly an easier time. Um, where they, they, you know, maybe there wasn't as much competition, there wasn't as much uh, possibly challenges around employment or whatever the case may be. What would you say to people around, um, or just around those points? I don't think there's ever an easy time to start a business. I've always found business incredibly hard. I think business is incredibly hard. True. Um, it's competitive. There are so many uh, dimensions to business. There are so many risks involved in, um, in building a business. So I think it's an incredibly hard and difficult thing to do. Yeah. But it's but with the right qualities and with the right support and with the right capital, yeah. it's absolutely doable. And what's been your, your key driver just throughout the Kulula.coms of this world and everything else that's wonderful that you've worked through? Um, I, just, I just love, um, I love change. I love seeing things become better. I love seeing uh, society uh, improving. Uh, and society, the improvement of society is a function of the collective efforts of members of society, one of which is business people and entrepreneurs. And I think entre entrepreneurs have a massive, massive role to play in this country today. Yeah. Did I read right that you are now CEO of Discovery Vitality? I, w I was. That was a few years ago. Oh, so I've, uh, I've, I've moved on. That was okay. a couple of years ago and I'm happy to be in a 
much more entrepreneurial space, much more independent space. And in a space where I can really add value, not only to our business, but to other people's businesses as well. Fantastic. Any last words for entrepreneurs out there? Yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, firstly, kudos for being an entrepreneur and taking it on because yeah, most true. people don't. Mm -hmm. Most people um, stick to the com comforts of yes. whatever it is, the corporate world, mm -hmm. um, nice paying job. It's yeah. hard to become an entrepreneur and I don't think being an entrepreneur is for everybody. Mm -hmm. But for those that have taken that step, I think that, you know, that's, you're already um, far down the route to becoming successful um, just by putting your hand up. Fantastic, Kieran. Thanks for your Thank time. Thank you very much. All the best.